If you have an iPhone 13 or newer, you may have noticed something on your camera app called cinematic mode. What is cinematic mode? It's actually amazing technology that's changing the game for smartphone videographers like yourself. Today, I'm gonna to show you everything you need to know about cinematic mode and the three coolest things about it. Let's just dive right into it. First, let's get you set into cinematic mode. First, let's open that camera app. You want to slide this bottom menu over to cinematic. Then you'll see this little 1X here. 1X is more of a widescreen cropping and then 3X is telephoto. So it's zoomed in. Let's also adjust your exposure. Tap the arrow on the left side of the screen and then tap the exposure button, which is this little plus and minus sign here. Now on the right side of your screen, just left of the record button, you can see this slider. You can drag it to make your video brighter or darker. Okay, timeout. Before we get to the really cool stuff, let's first talk about what does cinematic actually mean? In filmmaking, cinematic means a lot of different things in the way a film is shot that kind of really enhances the story. But in modern day times, when people say cinematic, what they really mean is that the shot has a shallow depth of field. What does that mean? That means that whatever the subject is of your shot, the main focus, that is in very sharp focus and everything in the background or foreground is in soft focus. Now a nice, camera lens on like a real camera can do a great job of this. Certain lenses really make the background look super out of focus or the foreground look super out of focus. And that gives it that really cinematic look, but the iPhone does it differently. It does it digitally and it's really cool technology that can achieve a really shallow depth of field. And it has some other really cool features. So let's dive right back into that tutorial so you can see what I mean. So now that we've got our exposure set up, let's first tap on the screen to choose our focal point. This is what you want to be in focus during your shot. This draws the viewer's eyes to this object in the shot. Now tap the depth control button. This is the F in the circle on the left side of the screen and watch this magic. If I set the slider all the way to 16, everything in the background is in sharper focus. But if I dial it all the way down to two, everything in the background becomes very soft focus. Let's set this kind of in the middle. All right, so this depth of field adjustment is one of the most exciting things about cinematic mode on the iPhone, but there's other things too. Let me show you that. I can change the focal point while I'm recording by just tapping on something else in the frame. See, now the lemons are in focus and the flowers are out of focus. And then I can change it back again all while I'm shooting. Let me play that clip back so you can see. But there's more. With a regular camera and lens, you can change the focal point while you're shooting. That's nothing new. But the difference with the cinematic mode in the iPhone is that you can change your mind after you shoot it. So on a regular camera, those focal length changes are baked into the video. They are there to stay. But in cinematic mode in your iPhone, you can edit the focal points after you shoot it. Let me show you this. It's really cool. So let me pull up that shot for you here and I'm going to hit the edit button on the top right of the screen. And you can see here, all of these little circles in my timeline indicate when I jumped back and forth between the focal points. Now, like I said, with the regular camera and lens, this is what the video would look like. You really couldn't do much about it. But with the iPhone, I can actually delete and add these changes. So let me first delete, let's say this fourth point here. I'm going to click on that circle right there and I get this little trash can. If I hit the trash can, I've deleted that point. And then if I wanted to add a point, I could just click on the frame. So now you can see here with the indicators that the flowers are in focus. Let's make the lemons in focus and watch that timeline. I've added a new point. The other thing I can do is change the depth of field amount after the fact as well. Now, one thing to know is that you can't change the depth of field over the course of one clip. You have to set it to one setting even after the fact, and that depth of field value stays the same for the duration of the clip, unless you are a Final Cut Pro editor on my other channel, which is all about Final Cut and Apple Motion. I have a tutorial about how you actually can change the depth of field in Final Cut. So if you're interested in that, you're a Final Cut editor, check this out right here. Okay, there's even more to know about cinematic mode in the iPhone, if you can believe it. But before I get to that, if you're enjoying this video, if you feel like you're learning something, let me know, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a future upload. All right, the third 
coolest thing about cinematic mode in the iPhone is its auto tracking feature. In cinematic mode, you can keep moving objects in focus using the track feature. Just double tap on the object you want to stay in focus as you shoot. In this case, it's this handsome guy's face. And as he walks around, the iPhone will track his face and keep it in focus as long as he's in the frame. When he walks out, the camera's focus will jump to something else. But we can actually fix that in post, of course. Again, hit that edit button, play the clip back. And as he walks out of frame, before the fence goes back into frame, just hit a focal point right toward the end of the clip and it will stay there. Pretty cool, right? So you guys, that's everything you need to know about utilizing the very, very, very cool cinematic mode in iPhone. If you liked this video, let me know. Give me that thumbs up. Anything else you want to see in terms of iPhone videography, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to show you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I picked out some other videos I know you're really going to like. I'll see you again.